Hi people, uh, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Trying to talk like a vampire so I can scare you a little bit. Time it's around almost 1 a.m. here and I'm wearing a uh, lot of us Nibras, which I just finished the review of. A very beautiful bottle, very beautiful presentation and long lasting fragrance for cold weathers. So someone asked me like, bro, is it possible that you do uh, aff an affordable winter list because you've been doing some lists, but some of the fragrance are too expensive. Some of them are very high end. So we can afford those. So is it possible we can get like somewhere 40, 45 around that price tag and below? So there are some fragrances, of course, in my collection. I'm going to suggest some of them. They're not same. Okay. They are different from each other. 12 fragrances. I have reviewed most of them. I think, I think all of them. Yeah. I have finished all of them. Yes. So some are discontinued perhaps, but you, if you look, if you really uh, are a fragrance enthusiast, you can find these fragrances. Okay. So keep it in mind. If you desire something badly, you will find it. You know, this is destiny. So first fragrance I'm going to show you is this one. This is called Mason Alhambra, Latafa, Amber and Leather. This house, many of the fragrances I would pick for my, you know, recommendation because how affordable they are. Okay, how affordable and beastly sometimes, you know, the fragrances are. This is basically a dupe of, I think, Ombre Leather by Tom Ford and uh, does pretty good job smells a lot like that and i think way better price point so makes it a uh, really really good statement for winter if you like tuscan leather or uh, ombre leather definitely give it a try this is very very a solid perfume okay check out my review you'll see amber and leather so this is my number 12 number 11 is one oh i haven't reviewed this yes i, I knew there's something i didn't review number 11 is this one rasasi for men icon okay be your own icon so this fragrance was my scent of the evening last night when i was walking and this is basically a take on uh lasasi uh, rasasi's la yukwam tobacco blaze which i'm going to review soon this one I'll review and compare to this also in this family there are a few other fragrances just show you uh shaghav like uh nafaisal shaghav new version and then also definitely shura if you love this tree you'll love it sorry what's wrong with me okay if you love this tree you're gonna like it this is actually even if i say affordable version it's pretty long lasting definitely a beast but not as loud as these ones i'll compare these when i do the review if you're a big fan of that dna fruity kind of like a beast mode okay uh, fragrance you can definitely wear this for winter and does very good job the longevity in this line i think this is the longest lasting icon by rasasi very affordable and beautiful fragrance so uh number 10 a freshy okay a freshy that i really like and i always forget the name of this perfume okay um this is called kenzo om i think intense edt intense i think that's the fragrance name is the blue bottle with the uh since uh, like transparent cap oh yeah low kenzo intense there you go the name okay so this perfume it's a little bit a different take on rasasi's uh so what rasasi uh, this is not rasasi, rasasi, this is kenzo man i am sleepy sorry my bad let's reintroduce low kenzo intense from house of kenzo very beautiful bottle but it's a little bit different than low par kenzo or low kenzo uh, this one has that invictus type of uh, like invictus intense meets low par kenzo kind okay a little bit of spicy kick a uh, little bit of a sweetness and i think there's a suede effect on the blue and that i think it, the bottle described the fragrance really well if you like a little bit dark blue fragrance like dylan blue this could be a good alternative to that dylan blue meets uh, invictus intense okay check out the fragrance good performance for winter L low let me take a look low kenzo intense yes that's the fragrance number 10 sorry number nine number nine is this one this is called royal paragon by afnan i think oh my god what's wrong with this zima afnan yes i think so yes so this one is a dupe of Leighton, as you can see from the bottle. It is similar to that, but man, for the price, what an amazing price point, what an amazing longevity. Some people did tell me, I did not get the same performance as Leighton from this. And I asked those people, how much do you exactly pay? And then those people, they are like then, you know, speechless. This fragrance cost you like 35 max, okay? Leighton cost you about 250 to $300, okay? So when you compare... Two such fragrances and you do not get the same performance it's not the fragrance's fault it's your fault because the expectation is too high for the price point this fragrance performs really really well on me long durian projection is good enough definitely if you love uh Leighton and you are a, a kind of like a person on budget and you are reasonable give it a try royal paragon i think one of the best latent dupes until now and there are many others of course but this one i'm showing today number eight mason alhambra is back this is called tabak 
This is a clone of uh, Dior's Tobacco Color, I think. Yes. So I haven't reviewed that fragrance quite. And I love this perfume already. I don't think uh, it's very far off from the original. The presentation is mind blowing. If I didn't tell you this costs like $20, $30, you'd not uh, guess it. But definitely doesn't have the, the all the magnetic cap and the high class bottle of Dior, but looks plenty nice for the uh price so this one i don't know if it's still available this one smells like honey tobacco spices man it's sweet at the same time it's tobacco-y and very serious fragrance with great longevity definitely give it a try tabak by mason alhambra next one mason alhambra continue to uh, rule but this is i think uh different this is from fragrance world sorry oh yeah so this is called enigma un or une okay this fragrance is a dupe of dior savage elixir check out my review on that one the bottle is kind of ugly i don't like it but the juice is very very good some people ask me is the best dupe so far of savage elixir yes it is for the budget definitely it is but i prefer uh, albay daldi mashki's savage elixir man a little bit more but that one is more expensive less juice enigma un or une man this perfume is just so so good more wearable less uh, Less spicy, definitely smells a lot, lot like Savage Elixir. And then do not compare the quality of that to this because they are different budget. Remember that. Next one, number six, then we hit top five. Number six is this fragrance, Victrinox Wood. Okay. I have been giving some time to this house. I've been reviewing some Victrinox perfumes and this line, uh, particularly these bottles, JNP, this one, Wood, and then a few of the other ones I reviewed. Except JNP, I reviewed everything else this one was uh, really acclaimed or not acclaimed appraised by or how to say ap appreciated by sebastian zara i think one of the finest woody spicy fragrance in modern times really good quality uh the thing is the fragrance lasts a long time on me but some people say they don't get the best performance is the projection which is a bit low but i think in the colder setup this price point you cannot get any better woody fragrance like I do miss the D-squared perfume. This one definitely brought back that feel. Okay. Wood by Victorinox. Simply. Beautiful fragrance. If you love woody, spicy perfumes. So let's move a bit and then do have space for a few more. So top five. I have back to back two Aramis fragrances. Uh, yesterday evening, one of my brothers was wearing, I think, one of the fragrances in this line. And I got inspired to do this list. So I'm going to show you the first one is called Tuscany Parumo by Aramis. These bottles, if you tell me they are not classy or elegant, I don't know what is. Okay, Aramis, back in the days, were affordable. These fragrances are very hard to find now. Um, the whole line, I think I just am missing two. Okay, I cannot find them anymore, but I have reviewed at least five or six. Okay, every single fragrance is value for money. Amazing quality. Longevity is also good. This perfume, if you ask me, I think I have about citrus, lavender. Uh, maybe a little bit of anise, caraway. I'm looking at Fragrantica. And then the leather, okay? So it's a spicy, herbal, uh, masculine. Kind of, you have to experience this perfume. There's no fragrance like this in the market. You know, even the top class designers cannot provide this, okay? Definitely number five, a very high class fragrance for colder setup. If you can find it under $40 now, uh, you should get it. Back in the days, it used to be $25, $30 tops, okay? So sad thing, but um, hunt for these fragrances, okay? Tuscany Parumo by Aramis. The next one is my more favorite even this is called havana and all these bottles which are uh, discontinued they are not the like vintage there are vintage bottles before it they look very different back in the days so havana is basically you can see it's a uh, havana is what uh, tobacco right definitely has this leafy tobacco smell very very masculine very green to my nose and it's very very like uh, like if you know aramis for him or uh, the other one, they have a think the tobacco was the other one. Hold on, let me get that bottle. Yeah, sometimes if I can remember the name, it bothers me. So I was talking about this one, tobacco reserve. This one, take a look at the juice color. This used to be green. Okay, check out my review on tobacco reserve. I bought this bottle and sold it off. Then I could not find it anywhere. Now it's like two, three hundred bucks, and uh, super rare. I just absolutely love this. If you can find this. Next best thing is Havana. Take a look at that one. Man, both these are amazing, amazing, uh, like masculine grown-up sort of uh, tobacco fragrance. I would highly recommend these two for sure. If you're looking for uh, $35, $40 budget, some of the best fragrance in the market for winter. So number three, I'm going to go after a long time showing this one. This Chopard Noble Cedar. 
So Shopper is a house uh, I think I bought and reviewed not that many. This Oud Malaki, this is Malaki line, there's also Black Incense Malaki, Rose, Musk, and I think uh, Noble, uh, Vetiver, quite a few. Okay, So this house definitely is quality. Check out my Shopper reviews. Uh, Shopper fragrance are not very cheap, but if you can get a good deal on a tester or something like this, I think I got this as a tester unit or full box. I don't remember. This one cost me forty-five bucks. Okay, you can look for a really, really good for, look for a good deal. You can purchase even score it under forty. That price point, it's one of the best underrated. Like a look at the juice color. This one has a cedar vetiver combo. Last a long, long time. I think it's perfect to wear if you like fragrance like green ash strip. This one really work out, but for a fraction of a price. So number uh, two and number one, uh, these two fragrances are very special, okay? And I personally uh, hunted for these lines when I started do doing my reviews. Back in the days when I was like happy days, you know, like I used to hunt for perfumes, anything like David of Hot Water, like fragrances, or that is something in budget, you know, and you can find it like suddenly in a shop that you don't find anywhere else. Just make the happiest person. These are the kind of times I'm talking about. This is Azarapuram Elixir. I think that's the name yeah this is elixir so there are three in this line or four rather original azaropurum okay they have the summer and all those flankers but this particular line all are discontinued onyx okay silver black same perfume elixir and i think night time okay i remember them correctly so if you can find those man get them okay this perfume is so underrated i think recently i saw um most probably chad a gentleman's journey talking about this and brought back memories man sweet Kind of like a passionate it's like fruity you know the sprayers are really horrible so when i smell this man this one reminds me of david of hot water or something like a givenchy zarius rouge but this one doesn't have that vanilla okay so it's minus the vanilla warm boozy night out and i think of vampires when i see this bottle this one reminds me of vampire diaries okay that tv serial or was the other one there's one more Vampire Diaries, I used to follow that, and then True Blood, yeah. This one reminds me of that very nice, elegant night out fragrance with a great longevity. That's number two. Check out my full review. Let's be to number one. I'll finish with a very elegant perfume. If you love fragrances like Powerhouses, like Kuros, Lapidus, um, you know, those houses like Bogart Purum, this is more dressed up version of those. I really like this. Underrated, Pur Louis, Oscar de la Renta. This fragrance doesn't get enough talk, enough love. And none of these fragrances here are really overly hyped, okay? Because they're underrated. And the price you point you get these, these ones could be had back in the days for $35. This is under used to be $26, $25 now, very hard to find. But I'm pretty sure they were never super expensive ever. Okay. So poor Louis, you get like a dressed up sort of animal. You get kind of like a I think poor Louis, what does it have? It has animalic notes like Kuros does, but it's not dirty okay it's more like a suited up masculine think of uh chanel's antheas those kind of fragrances right so it's a nice perfume to wear in colder setup and if you're looking for a little bit of seriousness good longevity take a look at oscar de la renta poor louis and my review okay those are the 12 fragrances i want to show you today and i think i did okay right do let me know which ones you find nice and do which ones do you think uh, are not that great i would love to hear your thoughts have a nice day see you soon take care Bye bye